Welcome back to Just Got Played. This is your boy JJ Jim Jam here, and I got a board game review for you. This time, I'm reviewing Gaysana the Board Game. It's a no holds barred hookup contest to see who can pick up the most guys that do local popular Gaysana. It's a board game that was designed by Adrian Collier, and art is by Jose Garote. It plays two to six players in about 30 to minutes to an hour, depending on player count and what mode you choose. You can pre-order it now, and it should be shipping by May of this year. There are two modes how to play, party mode and full mode. I'm gonna explain the differences and how to play right here. There are two game modes to Gay Sauna, party mode and full mode. We're just gonna go over how to play on the party mode because there's only a few components you add to turn the game into full mode. Party mode is the quicker, more streamlined version of the game so you can get used to the core concepts. You're gonna set up the game board and you're only gonna use four or five of the uh, cruising area cards. Steam room, dry sauna, mirror hall, dark room and play rooms only if you're playing with two or three players. So you're gonna take those cruising area cards and shuffle them up and so basically you only have four or five rounds in this version of the game. And then you're gonna take the rest of the cruising area cards and put them back in the box. Each player is gonna get their player board and their horniness token and then you're going to get a visitor from the visitor deck which matches the icon on your player board. You can choose any of the ones that match which are gonna have different roles and different kinks on them but that's gonna be your visitor for the duration of the game. This is you coming into the sauna to pick up other guys. You're going to take the rest of the visitors that aren't used, shuffle them up, and then make a visitor deck. And each player gets three mischief cards. And then once each player gets their three mischief cards, you're going to shuffle that up and make the mischief deck. Items and events are not used. Once you're done with the setup, you're going to choose the first player. It is suggested that the last person that visited a sauna is the first player. If nobody's gone to a sauna recently or can't remember it, then just choose randomly. The first player every round is going to flip over to the top card in the cruising deck and that's where you're going to be what room you're going to be visiting for this round each player is going to get one of two actions you can flirt or stroke yourself which means getting your horniness up you get two horniness uh <laughs> you know you want to be horny in order to try to hook up with guys and that play is going to continue through all four or five of the cruising areas everybody gets one of the two actions and the starting player is going to be the horniest player guess that makes you more hungry than the other players there's got to be a joke in there somewhere at the end of the fourth or fifth round the player with the most hookups wins and then also if there's any ties the least horniest player is what breaks uh, the ties in the full mode the only difference is you will have more cruising areas so more rounds depending on the number of players item cards will be introduced item cards have a uh, ongoing ability throughout the game you can lose your item cards depending on if the mystery cards played on you but you will be able to get it back you can only hold one item at a time events will be introduced into the game uh, every time somebody takes their turn in a round you will draw an event card and it can affect you and everybody else for that turn and then one last thing is introduced are bar tokens bar tokens are for the lights on fade lights on is your last chance to hook up with as many visitors as you can very thematic you know when lights come on you want to try to hook up before you go depending on the number of bar tokens uh, gives you a certain amount of actions you can use to try to flirt or you know C block somebody from getting one last visitor before they leave. So since lights are on, you're a little bit more desperate. So it's easier to flirt and get them back with you. As I mentioned, you can C block somebody so that depending on the token, you can, instead of flirting, remove visitors. I guess you just kind of get them to shoo away before somebody else can try to hook up with them. And at the end of the full mode, just like in the party mode, person with the most hookups wins the game and then also the least horniest breaks tie. And that's how you play Gay Sauna. Okay, great. That was a quick overview of how to play the game. So now I'm gonna talk about my pros and cons after playing the game. I played the game in party mode with two players and then also six players and then played the full mode with two players. So let's start with my pros. First of all, it's a very fun game to play. It's hilarious. Uh, Jose did a great job with the artwork. All the symbols and everything kind of makes sense. Just a great icebreaker for your friends because not everybody's part of the community like I am. So a lot of the symbols are very new to people and as an educator in the communities, being able to talk about what the different roles are and what the different kinks are is very uh, entertaining for me personally. But as people that were more vanilla, they also enjoyed it as well as a uh, great, almost a party game, but not quite. I don't know if it really markets that way. It's kind of in, like an intermediate type game, not full on party mode. Uh, not super heavy so that was great as well because if you're new to board games as long as you have somebody that's there that can explain all the symbols and the specific rulings you're good to go and as a heavy board gamer like myself it's also very engaging because you have the mischief cards and the event cards that and the item cards that kind of make it more into a heavier board game so there's the, those elements that take it out of the party game genre also it is a very thematic game uh i have not been to a gay sauna yet but i would imagine it's very similar as somebody that 
peruses certain clubs seems very similar in that sense. So theme is great, especially the uh, lights on mode, because as a person that was in his 20s and going to college at one point, the lights on is very <laughs> the imagining the fact that that is your last chance to try to get a hookup, especially in, considering the bar tokens are drinks just from the artwork on them. So that makes it more thematic. Kind of, sort of, so you kind of, you know, inhibitions are lessened when you have more drinks. Let's just say that. Try to keep it PG for the kids. <laughs> kind of. Anyways, there's got to be a joke in there somewhere. The theme is very great. Difficulty of the game is right in the middle, I would say, as far as like the intermediate level of a game. So if you're new to board gaming or you're old veteran of board gaming, it's, it's kind of right in the middle, especially when you turn it into the full mode. Party mode is really great at getting people into the mechanics of the game. So it's not too complicated that way. I will say that the uh, the dice, uh, you need somebody that understands the, the dice to uh, say whether you you got your flirt on correctly or not. The uh, flirt dice and the sex dice. How should I say it? It's uh, for people that haven't played the game before, it got a little bit confusing at that point. Not so much a con, it's like in, in the middle, so I'm kind of transitioning to the cons that way. But once you figure out what all the dice symbols mean, it becomes way more streamlined. I will say there's a little bit of downtime if you don't have the right mischief cards to play during somebody else's turn. If there's a full six players, you kind of just sitting there, not really doing anything for that turn, but having only two actions to be able to do in the full mode makes it a little bit faster, especially, or, and then the party mode, you only have the one action. So you, hopefully by the time it gets to your turn, you can figure out what you want to do. So it would be a little bit easier if the uh, symbols were easy to see so everybody could see them. Not really much you can do there because they're, they are smaller symbols. So if you knew which visitor you wanted to flirt with on your turn, it would be a little bit easier. Once again, not really a pro or a con, it's just kind of in the middle. I think that's kind of prawn, I guess you could say. It's a prawn. Yeah, there you go. Prawns. That much, but I mean, you can just move it over to somebody. But as far as the flow of the game, that's not too bad. Let me move over to my cons. It's kind of, I'm done, and done with the pros and the prawn. Cons, I don't really have too many. Uh, player interaction could be kind of a thing. I mean, you have bit mischief cards and the event cards. And the items, I don't think, I haven't seen all the items, but mostly they just kind of help you. So as far as player interaction, if you don't have that mischief card that can mess with somebody else, say you have a bunch of reroll cards in your hand, be a little bit slow on your turn at a full six player count. That'd be my only con for the most part, something that most games suffer from, but uh, having more player interaction would be a, a little bit better gaming experience, but not too much you can do there with the mischief cards. I guess you could just change the mischief cards. Maybe have something that you can do on every person's turn to uh, block them, I guess. That'd be my only small con so much. And then, uh, well, I mean, you're going into the gay sauna trying to hook up and you have a hornet's meter and you're trying to stroke yourself. So obviously it's an 18 plus game. I know many board gamers like to play games with their kids, um, as far as I know. So there's not a, a whole lot of adult situations you can play the game. Uh, cause most people have kids around. So this is definitely one of the ones that you have to play after the kids go to sleep or an adult night, which is also kind of a con because you have something to play with the adults when you, I mean, it'd be a, this would be a great drinking game <laughs> just in my personal sense. But yeah, it is 18 plus. I personally don't have that issue so much with the kids being around. So I will be able to play this more often, but that is a kind of a con, obviously kind of not super big of a, a, a con. But that's that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I, I do have a full copy that I get to play. I had the review copy, so the components weren't quite finished and the rule book is going to be tweaked some more before it actually comes out. But I'm looking forward to playing the full full on version of the game in full mode, huh, full and full. That'll be nice. And then hopefully in May, you might have a, uh, another review or playthrough or unboxing or something for this game because really enjoyable. As I said, I am part of the community. So knowing all the symbols and the rules and the kinks and everything made it better for me because I you know, get to educate. I'm an educator in the community just as far as that's concerned, all the different ones. Hopefully you look forward to it too. Uh, if you are definitely somebody that likes to think not really think outside, but push yourself out of your comfort zone and get a little uncomfortable if you're not used to these type of things. It is very educational in that sense, and you get a little light. It is very thematic, so you really get a sense of how it is in the gay song. So that was great. Uh, really love that about the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Come to our Discord, and we can talk about it. And also go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm forgetting something probably, but check us out. Let us know what you think about gay song of the board game. And, you know, we'll talk about it. Come to the Discord. I'll talk about it there. I'm in the Discord. Come talk to me about it. But for now, 
We will see you next time. Just got played. This is JJ Jim Jam. Bye.